the candidates on stage tomorrow are vying to become the most powerful Republican in 2025. Some of those in power now are jumping ship. They're saying, see ya. Patrick McHenry, for example, who just over a month ago was uh, serving as the, the acting speaker for a couple weeks, he's now calling it quits, announcing that he will not run for re-election. This, as his ally, the former House Speaker, Kevin McCarthy, has yet to file paperwork. It has to be done in the, in the upcoming days, but he hasn't filed his paperwork yet to be on the 2024 ballot as a member of Congress, and he is uh, reportedly considering not running as well. You know, I think about, uh, let, let's show that uh, 2010 book cover. Young uh, Guns, oh. Paul Ryan, Eric Cantor, uh, Kevin McCarthy. We are the Young Guns. It was, a, it was such a sweet, such a, it was so long ago. It yeah, was so long ago, ago a, right? a decade ago. But are, are we seeing, uh, Chris, Julia, are we seeing like a, a shift of power from, you know, what was, I don't, I don't know how to call it, a, the traditional conservative movement to, to something much different in the House? Well, I saw House Republicans had a surprise retirement party for Kevin McCarthy. Right? <laughs> uh, they, hey, we're going to have a party for you, Kev, and you can head back to Bakersfield and up to Wall Street. That was a great hang. Uh, be gone. I, I, be do gone. Think, I, I do think that, the, that what we see in Patrick McHenry's departure, and I don't know what, what your reporting and experience mm -hmm. tells you, is the ongoing brain drain uh, in Congress, right? Uh, Patrick McHenry is a smart person, right. and the reason that he ended up as the uh, as the interim, as he ended up holding the gavel on an interim basis, he knows things. He's smart. He understands mm -hmm. the process uh, and all of that stuff. If it is impossible to be a decent person and be in Congress, yeah. you will have fewer decent people in Congress. And I think McHenry's departure speaks to that. Absolutely. And we're seeing, actually, not only Republicans, but Democrats as well not running for re-election. This, I think, speaks to that overall brain drain that we're seeing throughout Congress. And the fact that, you know, I think there's this belief or this feeling of disappointment um, that Congress obviously isn't what it used to be. Um, it's not productive. It's right. uh, what you just look at past couple of months. Thank you for watching and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.